Okay, now we will uh, do experiment number six here at with the workbench. I have prepared uh, the one one kilo ohm resistance and the two point two kilo ohm resistance and the three point three kilo ohm resistance and also the DMM and here I'm been asked to connect this circuit so I have two sources and three resistances so now I'm connecting the resistance R3 is the 3.3 R1 is the 1 kilo ohm resistance and R R2 is the 2.2 kilo ohm resistance so I, I put them as drawn here So I will use the connector to connect these two resistances. So here I can connect, connect this one here or here. It's the same thing because it's the same point. So I decide to connect it here. So now I have two sources. One source is from this side, and one source is from this side. So I have here two voltage sources, DC voltage source. I will adjust the current to a maximum here. And here another DC voltage source. I will connect the current. So this one will be connected here. positive and the negative is connected to the other terminal of the resistance here now I need the other voltage source so this is the positive and this is the negative I will connect the negative to this terminal which is the negative terminal and I will connect the positive right here so now I have the same circuit as in the drawing So now I will adjust the voltage source as written here, set the voltage source 1 to 15 volt and voltage source 2 is to 5 volt. So I come here and adjust it to, okay, I will adjust this to 15 volts and this to 5 volts. Now I'm asked in, in this question to measure the currents I1, I2, I3 <coughs> and also <coughs> to measure the voltages V1, V2, V3. So I have uh, the quantity here I1, I2, I3 using the DMM and V1, V2, V3 using the DMM. So first I will measure the voltages across each resistance here. So this is V3, V2, and V1. Now to measure the voltage, I will put it on DC volt, since we are using DC. So I will measure the voltage across R2, for example. I will put the positive here, the negative here, and here is the voltage value, 4.88 volts DC. So now I will go to voltage across resistance number one, and it reads 5.4 volts. 
Now I go to resistance number three. Here's the positive, here's the negative. And it reads about 10.4 volts. Now we measured the voltage, we need to measure the current across this, across each resistance. So we have three currents, current I1 going from, through this resistance, and current I2 going through this resistance, and current going through this resistance. So how to measure the currents? Simply, we can remove this one. And we connect the positive terminal with the positive terminal of the DMM. And we connect the negative terminal of the DMM to the resistance. I will disconnect the DMM from here and connect it to the milliamp. And I will change this to a milliamp DC measurement. So here I have I have connected the ammeter to measure the current going through R1 and here is the current 5.45 milliamp. So now I disconnect the DMM, return. Turn the connection. For superposition, to measure the current across R3. So I disconnect this one, connect this one here, and this one here, and I got 3.2 milliamp. Now I go for resistance number two. I remove this one, connect the positive here, connect the negative here, and we got 2.1 milliamp or 2.2 milliamp. Now we will disconnect source number two and measure the following. We will measure the currents, which is I11, I21, and I31. We will measure the voltage V11, V21, and V31. So we will disconnect VC2 by shorting this side. We have only one source. So we will have R3 and R2 parallel. So we will measure the currents and the voltages. Like this. And this is how to calculate the current and the voltages. So I disconnect source number two. So I have this circuit. Now I need to connect this terminal with this terminal. So I will use this jump wire So now also I will measure the voltages and the currents I will put on DC volt. Return 
turn this into volt meter measurement and find V1 across V11 across R1 6.9 and V22 across R2 it's 9.1 and here across R3 it's 9.1 now I need to measure the currents so I open this one put it on AC milliamp connect it from here So to find the current through R1, I will disconnect this one, connect them together, put this one here, so I got 6.9 milliamp, I turn this here. So I have two connections, one for R3, also I will disconnect this one, connect it here, and here I will get 2.7 milliamp, and the same thing goes for R2, I will disconnect it from here, connect the positive, and then the negative from here I will get the ampere what I will do is I will disconnect source number one and connect source number two so I will return the circuit to a normal I have three resistances so I will connect only source number 2 from here and this one I will short them so I will short this one from here I will connect source number 2 here and return this to 5 volts And I will do the same, I will measure the voltages across the resistances and I will measure also the current that is flowing through each resistance by removing one terminal and connecting the ammeter between them, also for R2 and R3. Finally, what I will do is I will find I1 by subtracting I11 from I12 and I2 from I21 minus I22 and I31 by adding I31 plus I32. Also the voltages will be subtracted and then finally we can compare the, uh, our results with the first two uh, tables that we had. So this is the end of lab 6.